Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about what is in my toddler's long haul flight bag. So we've kept it fairly quiet and when this video goes live we will already be in South Africa. But we are making a surprise visit to South Africa to visit my sister for her 40th birthday and she has absolutely no idea that we are actually going so I cannot wait to see her face. Obviously the reason that we haven't put anything on Facebook or Instagram or obviously any videos is because it is a big surprise so we didn't want to ruin it but obviously I did want to do this video so I thought I would do it the night before we are due to go. We have not one but two flights to South Africa so we are flying from Glasgow to Dubai which is seven hours. We have a two hour stopover in Dubai and then we are flying from Dubai to Johannesburg which is eight hours. I have flown this before with my mum, my dad and Sophia two years ago when she was just one and didn't go particularly well so I have no idea how this is going to go this time. She is a bit older so I'm hoping she does understand more. Also the fact that her dad's going as well so he will be there to support me which is really nice and yeah, cross your fingers. I just, I hope it goes as well as it can do. So yeah, she is right into snacks and different things like that so I thought I would just show you exactly what I am taking in it. Again, all in all it's about 18 hours of travelling so yeah, it's going to be a long flight. We are taking along her trunky, which is quite a fair size, and obviously the strap comes off so that we can pull her along through the airport or each airport we get to, um, but there is still a lot of space in this. When I seen it, I didn't initially think that it would fit a lot, but it actually has, surprisingly. So, inside of that, we will also have her little frozen backpack, which she got from her gran and granddad. My idea is to put all our snacks and a few entertainment bits in here so that we can keep it on the aeroplane with us like maybe under the seat or just beside us something like that but so it is easy to grab. So I will show you what we've got in her bag. So I'll go through the kind of entertainment bits and bobs that we've got for her. First of all we've got this little play-doh garden activity grab bag. Again because it's so small um, she loves play-doh anyway so I'm kind of hoping that we'll get a little bit of play out of that but yeah it's dead light, dead small so I thought I'd grab that for her. Next up we have this white clean zoo activity bear book again which just comes with a little pen, a wipe off pen. I just got this out of the pound shop so I just went in there to see exactly what they had like entertainment wise and picked this up for her. The next thing is the World Best Nursery Rhyme Activity Magazine. This does look quite babyish when I first seen it, but actually having a look into it, it looks quite good. And it looks like she will be able to like do a lot of the things. So there's counting and like obviously drawing stuff. So yeah, some stickers, which you'll love. Just loads of little games in it and colouring in and stuff like that. So, and again, just... things that she can trace the letters with. So yeah, got that one. The next thing I got was this 10, 10 sticker sheets, approximately 100 stickers, and it's just Paw Patrol. And as you can see, they're all different colors, loads of variety of stickers, so yeah, hopefully she'll like that. The next thing is this My Fairy Bag of Fun. Again, includes colouring book, crayons and stickers and this was only 89 pence from Home Bargains. Like it says, it does come with crayons but I've actually taken them out and I've put them all together and there's just some of the stickers on the back. So again, yeah, hopefully there's some good colouring in and entertainment in there for her. Again, with Home Bargains, another 89 pence. It's my dinosaur bag of fun and again, colouring book, crayons and stickers. And yeah, just a little variety so she's not got the same thing all the time. I'm kind of hoping that that will keep her going a bit, hopefully. The next one is the Enchanted Garden Colouring In book. And again, this was from Home Bargains for 79 pence. And again, the pages are quite large, 
the colouring in sections and then on this page it's just blank so I'm thinking she could maybe stick her stickers on there. Yeah, she likes everybody kind of joining in with her so there's always some colouring in to do for me as well. But yeah, just really cute. So next up we have this Paw Patrol and Frozen Magical Colouring Enchanted Activities. And again the same for the Paw Patrol. So these came in tin boxes like this and again the Frozen one was Anna and Elsa on the front of them. But I just think, although the tins are great, we could maybe lose some of the weight in it. So yeah, I've just taken them out of these and just put them in our bag directly. Um, and again, yeah, just some activities, colouring in and a book, I think. So hopefully she'll enjoy them. Next up from Home Bargains again was this Create Your Own Fairy Tiara Foam Tiara Glitter Glue Double Sided Tape 3 Hooks 3 Loop Stickers and Plastic Jewels and it just looks like that and again just hoping it's something different that she can do on the plane as well if she gets bored I can just pop this out and see how we get on with that um, but yeah I just thought it was really cute in this bag is this Make Your Own Unicorn Craft Time includes full instructions so again this comes with Three unicorns, a sticker sheet, pattern sheets, wooden beads, gemstones, plastic needle, white glue, glitter glue, wool and Eva stickers. So I've just taken this out of the box so it looks like that. So again, I'm not carrying around a huge bulky box. But it does have everything in here. So yeah, the glue and stuff is in liquid things that we've got all in plastic bags. So... Yeah, I thought that would be quite cute and cute ha quite handy. And I think, again, she'll enjoy doing it with everybody, so good idea. The next kind of toy thing I got her, or the only toy thing, is this Barbie Horoscope series. And, again, it's just this really kind of cheap Barbie toy, which has clothes and she can dress it up or dress it down. And, yeah, again, just, just another thing for another hour for when it goes by and she gets bored, I can just pop this out and say oh look another toy and last on the entertainment is this Sky Paw Patrol notepad so she actually won this from a Halloween party a couple of weeks ago and it's just basically blank, blank pages inside but again I thought if she just fancy drawing or she wanted to stick her stickers somewhere that would be the ideal place and again it's nice and small so not taking up too much space or weight so just the perfect size said that I took all the crayons out all the activity sets I've actually got her her own little Paw Patrol Sky pencil case so inside we've just got an assortment of different pencils that our gran and granddad got her we've got a little princess sharpener and then just two of these packs of crayons that came with the activity set so just pop them in there as well with regards to snacks we have a whole bundle of snacks here. What I've done is kind of tried to divide it and I've put two of each in the bag. So she's got two packets of crisps, two rainbow drops, two kinder eggs, some pezzes, a Barney bear. Um, I need to put some of our crackers in that she likes as well. And yeah, just some of these safari paws. Yeah, I put two in because I'm thinking hopefully we'll be able to divide them between the two flights. So maybe like she's getting bored or something like that every hour I can kind of offer her something like this I will try and avoid her eating all the sweeties because I really don't want that but yeah it's just a selection of snacks in there and ready to go tissues all of us have got a pack of tissues in our bag so I just thought I'd pop one in Sophia's bag as well we have some Paw Patrol sunglasses again she doesn't need them straight away but I just thought because they were quite small and dainty I'd put them in her shoe. Because we have a two hour stopover at Dubai, I have been to Dubai before and I know how hot it is. So I just thought I would take a change of clothes for her. So she has these little shoes that just look like they that. They are from Tesco. We have a pair of tights, some socks for when we are in the airport and she wants to take her tights off she can just stick the socks on with her shoes. A pair of pants, a dress, just like that, and just a cream cardigan. So again, my plan is for her to wear the dress with her socks and shoes in the airport because again it is quite warm 
and then when we've got in the aeroplane we do also have her cardigan and her tights so she can kind of layer up and get a bit warmer and last but not least we have her little samsung tablet and her new earphones which we got last week and they've just got stickers on there with her name just for the aeroplane because it's got its own like entertainment tv screen on it anyway i mean she's got her own headphones she doesn't have we don't have to worry about like putting the small ones in her ears she has her own ones and again just a tablet she loves this thing and um, she probably won't really play it on the plane or have it on the plane as much but for when we are there for some downtime and just chill time i would not leave this now yeah that is pretty much it i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope it does come in handy and help people who are traveling with toddlers this is an extremely long haul flight again like i said it is the first time we've been traveling with her when she is three so I don't know how she will react. I don't know how we'll get on with all the entertainment stuff. But I will keep you updated and I will let you know how it goes. So I will see you all later. Bye.